Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, proportionally distribute the uh, angular misclosures in your uh, traverse. So as you can see, this is the information that, that we need for step one. So you're, you're going to have six stations and equally so you're going to have six observed exterior angles. And again, note we're only using exterior angles. Now we're in this uh, particular example, I am using the information from our project. Now our project has quite a bit of discrepancies however the how-to still stands for um, any other information now we're going to be using two formulas that are important or that are essential to get the final result which is covered by the calculator which I will go through in more in greater detail so here's what I did first I summed up all of the angles I got this result right here this is the sum of each angle added to the next one Next, I am going to use the formula. Now the first formula I am going to use is the angular misclosure formula. Misclosure means error. How I do this is I'm going to take the sum of the angles that I got and subtract the theoretical result. Now in, our, in my case, the theoretical result is 1440 because we have six sides. However, yours might be different depending on how many sides or stations you have. In our program, most people have six, so we'll keep it at that. Next, I introduced the results here, as you can see. So I substituted it in, and then I subtracted 1440. This is the result that I got after. Furthermore, using formula number two, which is the ang angular adjustment formula. Now, please note that this formula is only usable once you've completed formula number one. So, I'm going to take this result right here and plug it into this. But before I do that, I'm going to explain how this works. So the angular adjustment is equal to the negative error. Now this negative sign is crucial. The error or misclosure is what you got from your previous results. And n is the number of sides you have. Of course, you should already know this. So in our case, it is 6. Now, I'm going to insert the res previous result from the angular misclosure and the number of sides we have. Once I do that, you will notice I have this. Now, one thing you may question is where did the negative sign go? Well, our previous result is negative, and the formula has a negative in it already. Therefore, the negatives cancel, and we are left with a positive value, which makes sense. Because when we do it, we want to add it up and make this number right here equal 1,440. Now, furthermore, once you compute this, you will be given this result. Now, this is the result that I receive, of course. And what I'm going to do next is an easy step. I'm going to add the adjustment to each observed angle. What that means is I'm going to take 0 degrees, 2 minutes, 43.8 seconds and add it to the angle at 452, which is 246 degrees, 9 minutes and 20 seconds. And I will progress to do that to each one. Once I do that, I will get these results as you can see.